Hey everybody, this is going to be a playthrough of the C.P8.4 mission from the Georgian Oil War campaign for the Su-25T. Looking at the mission briefing, we've got a night mission in the winter. Uh, there's just a high cloud layer, so the clouds aren't going to be too much of a problem for you. Uh, you're going to need to stay kind of low to attack your targets anyway, so clouds are no big deal. Uh, and the targets are going to be illuminated for you by another flight, so visibility is not really a problem. Um, looking at the Allied flights, there's two more Su-25Ts flying around. Those will be the ones providing illumination for you. So You'll wait until they illuminate the target area before you start doing anything. Looking at the threats, we've got Stinger, Manpad, IR Guided SAMs, ZU-23, AAA emplacements, and Gepard AAA. Really, uh, in the target area, there's only Manpads to worry about, so don't worry about any AAA. Looking at the mission planner, the objective of this mission is to destroy two infantry groups in this little village in the mountains here. So we got this first group here. Uh, kind of at the northwest corner of the village, just inside the buildings and the trees. And then at the southwest corner of the village, we got four more infantry uh, guys uh, just outside of the village. Uh, other stuff to be aware of, there's three random spawn man, uh, man pads in the area. Uh, so one at the northwest edge of the forest, kind of one at the northeast, and then one in the south corner. Uh, you could get all of them, none of them, or, or one or two of them. It's just random. So keep an eye out for that. Um, the overall plan, we're going to take off out of Kobaletti. Uh, just follow the route until uh, you see the text telling you that the target area has been illuminated. You should be able to spot it pretty easily. Um, you can choose your, your attack vector. Probably either a north to south or south to north vector is going to work out fine for you. Um, you'll want to turn on the Durkham, uh, the IR countermeasures. Uh, just give you a little bit of protection as well as probably the auto countermeasures once you come in to make your attack runs. Uh, the wingman's going to be more or less useless. So the best way to do this is uh, you're going to be loaded up with some cluster munition canisters. Uh, so the best thing you're going to do is use your LLTV pod, uh, spot the village out from a distance, look at the northwest corner or the southwest corner, whichever one you want to attack, uh, find those infantry units in, in the camera, uh, and then use the, the pipper location in the HUD as as a reference point for you to time your or to point your ccrp drops so if you're coming from south to north uh you'll want to maybe attack the southern group you'd lock up uh you don't have to lock them actually but just point the uh, lotv pod kind of in the middle of this group and then uh if you've got the pipper location there on your hud and then if you're coming from south to north you'll uh you'll point the ccrp indicator on the hud for the cluster munitions just a little bit below that so you can start your uh, your bomblet drops just south of that group and end them somewhere north of the group. Um, I'm going to use uh, a separation of 0.4 seconds uh, with two clusters at a time. Uh, so they'll give me four passes to get this done. Uh, if you want to try to get it all done in one, you could you could set it to you know do all the canisters, or if you want to just do one canister at a time, give yourself eight passes. You need to be a little bit more precise on each pass, but you'll get more attempts. So it's kind of up to you how you want to deal with that. If you haven't used the cluster munitions much in the past, uh, you probably want to set up a little practice mission or something in the mission editor to make sure you know how to use those things. Uh, they're not trivial. You do need to be low. Um, and if you're going fast, that's good too. You get a little bit more spread on them. Uh, so essentially, you'll just you know get up high, spot that target area. Uh, once it's illuminated, locate those units, those infantry units on the, uh, on the LTV pod. And then use that that HUD location, that HUD Pipper location, as a lineup for your CCRP drops. Uh, once you've killed all eight of these uh, infantry units in these two groups, then you'll get the mission complete text. You can head home. Uh, just be aware of the man pads. You might be able to spot those on the HUD or on the uh, LOTV screen as well. It's probably not worth attacking them directly, but uh, make sure you've got your auto countermeasures on so you're getting some flares out. Uh, if you want to cut your engines to idle as you're overflying and dropping your bomblets, that might not be a bad idea too. Uh, just get make sure you're getting going nice and fast before you get there. Um, if you come in for a dive, you can do a shallow dive to attack these. Don't do a steep dive though. Uh, but a shallow dive nice and fast so you can cut your engines to idle uh, will reduce that man pad threat. So good luck. All right, start the mission.
Go ahead and get the weapons configured. Use a delay of uh, maybe 0 0.2. Now we'll do 0.4. And I'll do uh, two canisters at a time. Go ahead and turn on the Durkum, and when I get a little closer, I'll turn on the auto countermeasures so we get some flares coming out automatically. I don't have to worry about it. If I have the brain cycles as I get closer, I'll pump out some flares manually too, but getting a few automatically would be nice. Alright, that's the target area over there. See, I'm heading basically south, that's off to my left, so that means I'm west of it. I'm gonna come, uh, come left and get north of it, uh, and then make a north to south run. We'll 
use the uh, LLTV pod if we can to spot some targets. It'll also give us a, uh, if we could find the targets on the, on the TV, they'll give us a pipper indicator on the HUD uh, that we can use to line up our, our CCRP drop on the, on the bombs as well. All right, but right now I'm not even high enough to see into the village here. All right, we got guys here. Target that. Turn on the auto countermeasures now. Get a little bit lower for these bombs. And we'll start it just a little bit forward of these guys. About here. And fly the needle. Alright, looks like I'm a little too high, maybe they didn't drop. We'll try a south to north angle. I'll see if I can get my wingman to attack anything, but probably won't do much. He got hit, he's gone already. Now let's see if we can spot these guys real quick on the TV. Yeah, right here. We'll set up right about here for the bombs. Come in lower. All right, a couple of those canisters dropped. Got some of them. I'll come back around and see if I can finish off whatever's left from that group. Preparing to illuminate target area. Stand by. Alright, this is probably the last guy from that group. Go right about here. Fly the needle. Okay, finished off the first group. That should be the uh, southwest corner group. So at the northwest corner, 
a little bit inside the village. We have another infantry group in there somewhere. I haven't seen any man pad shots, so I'm not going to worry about the flares. I'm not sure what took out the, uh, the wingman. He might have just flown into a mountain or something. Try to find these guys inside the village here. See some stuff here. And a little further down, and a little further down over here. Okay. So this is probably going to be multiple passes as well. Actually, this pass isn't looking good, so I'll see if I get anything here. About there. Only got two more canisters left, so better be accurate on this one. Give myself a bit more distance uh, so I can find the targets a little easier and get lined up better. Alright, here's some dudes, so I'll just try dropping them right in between all of them. Start right about here. Alright, that should be it. Continue to engage targets of opportunity or RTB. Out. I don't see the airfield, so uh, we'll call them and let them know we're coming. See if we get them to turn the lights on. It's the Bobaletti. Uh, 
Ставка Булеги. Следующий курсом 289. Удаление 16. Давление 758. Little two little Okay, it's off over there. So we're on the coast here. This is City Kobaletti. So just fly north a little bit, get lined up on those runways. That'll do it.